and disbelievers everywhere. For example, there's people who don't believe in the Great Pumpkin. <laughs> This pumpkin has a 64 inch shoulder width. This pumpkin. And this pumpkin has armholes. Get your arm on the outside of the pumpkin. <laughs> they don't believe in anything. They don't believe in pumpkins do magic. Okay, so this pumpkin is a center zip like a jacket. <laughs> 64 inches on the shoulder, 59 inches in the hips, 46 inches in the foot. So there's a zipper, there's another zipper right above it, two center zips. So you don't no, until you try some of these things, or um, you can also watch people use them, right? There's room in here, lots of room, for me, not for a big person. Choose be careful with zippers like this, they make thin fabrics. And I've already torn this thing a couple times and repaired it. We're talking boatloads of law. For just $900, you can get something that weighs like a pound, right? And, um, you know, you gotta ask yourself, how low is a pound going to work? It's not gonna work like this. One pound? One pound of anything is not much. So down here is the external NXT, reflecting my body heat. Over here is a 70D PU coated polyester. Same with up here and over here. Here, way back behind my head, is a 2 way zipper. Like, I have to reach way back here to reach that. This zipper flames up the entire length. It separates. It would open this whole top up. Or I can put it behind my head, space, up to my nose, my chest. Now this space is so small that the space will be here. So I can have my arm out without freezing. Um, so I can wear a jacket. I can wear a jacket, I can wear gloves. These things up. Right. I'm like a baby where it's falling down on you and you're you're just kind of thrashing around inside of a bag. No, this is square. It's a vertical one. A horizontal roof. We are live inside this old baby. Inside this old baby. The Thermarest monster bag. We have this mesh. Yeah. Okay, this is the right side of the baby. Inside polyester. Also, the other thing rest. You can see the space between. What happened last year? is wow, this is the third version I've made of this inner. I made it too short. I made it like up to here. It got wet 
some condensation. Uh, right onto my sleeping bag. Now, I got like six inches. Even though this is like a huge bag, I got like six inches of space between this roof and here. It's waterproof. This zipper is here. Right back there is an air vent. This goes outside. I'm touching the screen. This screen right here. The outside. So even if this is zipped up all the way, this is, a, this is an air space. But if I zip it down to say here, I can maybe get some flow through here. I can do the same on the other end, on the foot end. Now, it can also be the Eno house fly around this whole mess. So how warm would that be, do you think? A kilogram of down. Inside, there's one of the warmest places. Oh, Nemo is challenging them, but I still say this is the warmest right now. Uh, in this space, inside the Eno Housefly, where I've installed two way zippers like this on the doors. <laughs> on the ends of the Housefly, I create vents with a zipper. When you zip down, I'm creating an air vent. That air vent will line up with this mesh that I'm touching right here. So air can flow through the two ends of this roof, the Eno tarp, and flow right through that screen, right down into here, where this is going to evaporate. This is some of the most breathable waterproof fabric in the world. But this can evaporate my body moisture. And I mean, the problem is, there's no flow, right? I might actually try fan. If I install a tiny little battery-powered fan on both ends, one pushes air in, one evacuates, then I'm forcing air through here. So both of my arms are through armholes on the sides of this thing. And now we're gonna zip this even really just just up to the right under my arm here mm -hmm. has a, a two-way zipper here. <laughs> so claustrophobia plays in. Right. So I'm practicing it like okay. For one thing, if I always manipulate the zipper the same way, I'm not gonna search for it, right? I'm closed twice. The tarp is wide open on both ends. It's stopping the wind in two directions. The middle layer is still open on the end. This is closed. I'm sure you got, apparently. There's no air at all. So, I'm just gonna sit here and see what happens. Okay, so my hands are cold. Now I can just bring them in. So now, now this hand is in, and uh, inside. Minus six C, even in minus six, it doesn't take long for your hands to get cold. If, you know, if you're setting up a hammock <laughs> or doing anything at all without gloves. Now, these armholes, I'm going to stick my arm through here. So, so I was, I did have my arms out. I brought my arms in. I put my arms, I put my hands in my armpits. My armpits are my warmest point on my body. 
put my hands on you and take the hands of one of these bottles around here. This is still wide open. I'm in the business. I am breathing through this fabric. It's waterproof. It's fully sealed. Now, I can't do that all night because what will happen is my breath will frost up in here and this stuff will get wet. Although this is DWR coated, still, what I will do is probably have this um, around my neck, this up to my neck. I open this up. So this is the other roof right here. I have this wide open, like baby is open, sleeping bag is open. This is closed. I am warm. At least at the moment. I don't even have the sleeping bag zipped up. I'm surrounded in down. My body is wrapped in down. I'm surrounded in down. Interesting. You can't not find it. It's like your jacket. Right? Center zip is right above it. My arms don't have to like try and bend around to get to this zipper. Right? Now so either arm can grab the zipper and open it. And can reach over here and unzip this arm. So I'm bending my arm normally, right? Not like trying to like bend it out of shape. So now my arm is out. Now this arm is out. It's even easier to unzip this side. Like that. It's a microclimate inside a microclimate inside a microclimate inside a microclimate. So actually, how many do we have? Six microclimates. Base layer, down clothes, down sleeping bag, the bivy, this enclosing the tarp. Now my actual tarp has doors. Those doors have two-way zippers like this that I've installed. So it's not just a shell. It, it's, it is fully enclosed, but open at the bottom. This is fully enclosed all around. Except for these ends, and there's an air vent right behind this bar. There's an air vent. But this whole thing, of course, is wide open. Now, with my arms free, I can, I can like scooch up against the back of this thing. I can even bring a big pillow in here. I can roll on my side, I put my hand under my head. Now, of course, I can't do that in minus 30, but I'm doing it in minus nine or minus eight right now. It gets really wild. I'm not zipping this up. All I did was pull it up to here. It's astounding what difference that makes. Yet it's still wide open. It's about blocking these drafts. It's not like a, like a direct path of air for it to flow. So we have a center here. Two arm holds it. And you have a center zip here. I'm only aware of four sleeping bags with these armhole things. This is one, Femarest. 
two is an expat dreamwalker. Mine is coming. The dreamwalker zips down the middle, all the way down. This is zips down to my knee. The footbox is fixed. The dreamwalker zips to the end and separates. It has the armholes. You can walk for it's called a dreamwalker. You can walk. But these are two different animals. This is a comfort minus 20. The other one is like a comfort plus two. But I wear, I wear down. So I have a lot of experiments to do. The only other two, Mammut Protect has armholes, but it weighs four something pounds and is rated uh, warmer or colder, whichever way you look at it, than this. This one's a good three and a quarter pounds. It's a monster. This is a monster. So, I need to gain the confidence that if I'm gonna like be without a vehicle, which is exactly what I do, that like I've always, always got a way to get out of the cold. Even if I stick that mattress on the ground and or I take that mattress, yeah, that mattress on the ground inside this busy, inside of this would work right now. This is better, obviously. I'm off the ground. I'm surrounded by all this. There's a tarp out there. Um, the fourth, Taiga Works, Vancouver, has something called the Sleepwalker. Four of them. Sleepwalker, Dreamwalker, Protect, and Polar Ranger. These four have these armholes. And um, the Sleepwalker and the Dreamwalker both allow you to get your feet out there but i mean there's no free lunch right it'll never be as warm as a like a mummy bag but um i need i, I want to transition from sitting in a chair just to trying to lie down like this or even just sitting up but if i unzip this inside this enclosure. Now I'm going to unzip this oven. I'm going to unhook this buckle. I'm going to sit up. <clears throat> I'm in the bivy. I'm in the sleeping bag. My arms are out. And now I'm sitting up. I just got packed up. Pushed my bike down to the water edge. And then, boom, a little bit of rain. <laughs> 